get beaten. Seconds. We'll walk out and let her say, I'm going to get it right here, Ed, and I'm going to shoot it in your face. He hit it and he looked at me and he was like, dang, I didn't mean to leave nothing on the clock. That's the first three point contest, he says. I'm just, just looking to see who's going to finish second. This is a tie for the money. Yo! Just absolutely. Unbelievable. Dominique guarded him, Cliff guarded him, Antoine Gar guarded him, my guarded him. Uh, nothing worked. Bird with eight seconds. Bird on the drive. The runner oh. is good again. Oh. Larry Bird is just unconscious. He called it. Uh, he said rainbow uh, trained his lap. And Bird falls into Joe O'Toole. Guys are into the benches giving each other five. I mean, Bird is a bad man. Bird has 60 points. He would do a head fake, or he would do this, and the guy would turn, and he would just fake the crap out of God. Larry told all of us and the media, he said, tomorrow night's the last game of the trip, I'm going to play this one left-handed. And at the end of three quarters, the next night in Portland, he had 27 points left in. His body was behind the basket, and he released that left hand shot. That was his own shot! Larry just hit what would have been the game-winning shot, but KC called timeout. Larry came back to the bench, and you know he was a little upset. He looks at the bench and says, "Hey guys, when I come back after timeout, I'm gonna go right to the same spot. And I'm gonna kick it in." The ball looks by one. Aims to Bird. He gets a good shot in the shoulder. Boy, this is something else. He would just flick it or tap it or bounce it to a teammate without even catching it. Celtic fans, I think that most of the arena and the Detroit Pistons forgot that Larry Bird hadn't quit. Now that's a fail by Bird! 